Stereo Microscope Review and Setup. Today we're going to take a look at a stereo microscope, actually a triocular microscope. Uh, I initially found this product via another vlog. I'm a big fan of Scotty Allen over at Stranger Parts, uh, and he's well known for doing things like uh, creating his own iPhone uh, from parts from the Shenzhen China uh, electronics markets. I definitely recommend you check it out if you like this sort of thing. Uh, recently, in response to many of his viewers asking about his microscope. Tons of you guys have been asking about my microscope. You know, where did I buy it? What brand is it? Where can you buy one? How much did I pay? The best I can tell you is that I bought it from Sumei in the markets on the second floor of the SEG building. I reached out to Sumei and she set up an AliExpress store just for you guys. If you wanna buy a microscope from her, she would love it. Uh, and so I did, and I ordered it from China. It took 30 days to get here. I was really impatient, and we finally have it in hand, and I'm excited to show it to you. Let's go ahead and take a look at assembly. Uh, the manual that this includes uh, is all in Chinese. And uh, of course, that, that made for a little bit of uh, creative assembly. Uh, fortunately, the website does have uh, a much better diagram. I'll show you a picture of that here. Uh, in any case, let's take a look and see if we can get this assembled. Um, starting out, we have the microscope base, and they do have interchangeable uh, bottom plate here. You can swap for black and for white, uh, which is a nice touch. I suppose you get you get better contrast against some materials. There may be other reasons for this that I'm not I'm not up to speed on. So we'll go ahead and take the base, and we've got our microphone stand here, uh, and this is all threaded, so we can go ahead and just thread this into the bottom. It's quite hefty. Uh, the base itself isn't terribly heavy, but of course this has a lot of weight to it. Uh, so by the time you get this attached, it has some solid heft to it to hold it up. The entire unit seems very well constructed. Um, all metal construction. Okay, we'll fasten that on there. Now we've got the remainder of a microscope stand here. Uh, this has a um, this has a compression wheel that will fasten it to the stand back here, uh, and then of course, then our tensioner, which will raise and lower the eyepiece. So that will just sit over top of the of the post here for the stand. And we'll tighten that up at the back. Okay, next we have the microscope itself. Uh, this is what they call a triocular microscope. Uh, so it actually has three eyepieces. Uh, it has a biocular, um, bo as in both eyes, being able to look through this microscope, and then a third to support use of the camera. Uh, you can note, if we remove the protective cover here, you can see both of those lenses uh, looking down at whatever object uh, it might be. Now, we do have, uh, in order to facilitate uh, a greater distance away from our work material, uh, we do have a 0.5x uh, optical piece here that attaches uh, to the bottom of the microscope. The threading is very, um, is pretty fine. So, uh, it's a little bit touchy to find the right threads, and I would imagine it would be relatively simple to cross-thread. Then the microscope itself fits right down into the microscope stand. And we tighten up the thumb screw. Uh, there is a spot for three thumb screws. Uh, mine only came with one. Uh, I don't know if that was a mess up in the shipment if only one's needed in its optional placement uh, or quite what we have going on there. Now already attached uh, to the two eyepieces here, um, these come separately and are slotted in and there's a small Phillips screw on the side uh, that creates sort of a retaining situation on the eyepieces. Then of course we have some rubber eyepieces for comfort that will sit over top of the glass so we'll go ahead and put those in place.
finally, we have our actual CCTV video component. This does 1080p and outputs it to HDMI. So when you're working on various projects, you actually get the same view that you get through your, through your eyes uh, into the video screen. And you can do things uh, such as stream to YouTube or record it or display it to a classroom. Uh, so it's quite, quite handy that way. Uh, there is a lens here for this. Uh, it's just labeled SZM CTV one half. Uh, you can kind of see that there. And so these once again thread together. So the end component looks like this. And then this screws right down into that third optical support right up top. It does include a light ring. Um, I'll see if I can pull this up in front of the camera. It's plugged in and it's, it's a little bit of a short cord. Uh, but here's the light ring and that mounts immediately underneath this, this optic here and clearly lights the object you're looking at. The eyepieces are nice and adjustable here. So you can pull them apart like so to adjust for uh, your particular eye width and for comfort. We'll adjust the overall height as opposed to our object and we'll fine tune it. Essentially what you have is a very broad adjustment towards the back, a bit finer grained on the side here, uh, even finer still, and then some final adjustments at the actual eyepiece. Uh, and then you can kind of move these back and forth in order to bring it into a single focus. Uh, it's very, very clear. You have a nice degree of height here. So if you're soldering or doing uh, surface mount device uh, work, uh, y there's ample room for it, which is, uh, which is ideal. I'll see if I can get um, this connected up quick here, and we'll take a look at, at the image. I did have this previously assembled as I was sorting out uh, how this device worked, and I was having a lot of trouble getting an image out of the CCTV, so I've been working back and forth with the distributor. Uh, she's been very, very helpful, uh, and part of the reason I'm filming this video is to be able to send it to her so that she can see uh, the device itself and how it's functioning for us and how I have it assembled to make sure that I didn't, uh, I didn't screw anything up here. We'll attach our light ring here. It just inserts over the optic on the bottom and then there are three thumb screws that we can tighten up. They don't have a specific, um, it's sort of, uh, you're, you're tensioning each side and you could over tension one side, right? Because uh, there's, there's three points they're attaching from and if you were to screw one all the way in, the other two wouldn't be as tight. It'd be a little bit cockeyed. I don't think it's critical that it's perfectly centered, but you do want to try and bring each side in uh, a, an equal distant amount to, to tension it up. Now, there are two separate power supplies for the microscope. Uh, you have a power supply specifically for the LED light, and then you have a power supply separate for the CCTV camera. Uh, so that is something to bear in mind. You'll eat up two power sockets. And then of course, in order to get video out, you'll need uh, something to interface with the HDMI. That could be a monitor. Uh, in my case, I have a capture card. Turn on our LED. There is a brightness adjustment right down here, which is quite nice. So you can adjust the brightness. So it's, uh, if you find that it's too bright or washing out any of your work. Okay, so here's the image that we're seeing uh, from our camera. Right now it's all very fuzzy. Now, this is exactly the problem that I've been emailing back and forth with support on, and she's been super great. Uh, but let's see if we can give this some adjustment and uh, improve that image. Now, bear in, mi now, bear in mind that uh, visually, uh, through the eyepieces, the image is perfect. Uh, so we're just having an issue with the CCTV component at the moment. Now we'll go ahead and attach this camera up to the HDMI again and see if it shows us anything. So you can see here I have only the camera itself connected and I'm seeing a very similar uh, sort of image issue. 
So I think what we're looking at is a defective CCTV module. The microscope itself works great. I'm very, very satisfied with the build quality. Uh, I think I'll have to contact the manufacturer, send over part of this video, and hopefully they'll be able to quickly issue me a new CCTV camera. It did take about a month for this to arrive. I'm, so I'm hoping we don't have to wait quite so long for a replacement part to show up. Uh, in any case, that's how you assemble the Men's Vision uh, Stranger Parts uh, Triocular Microscope. I'm Jeremy with Make Tech Hack Tech. We make, break, learn, and explore new technology projects and bring you videos every week. This is day three of our 100 days of making project. Check out the video in the end card to learn more about that. And while you're here, comment below and share with us your current electronics project. We'd love to hear more about it and more about you.